Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the timing is fluid, okay? So this reading, there's no date on it, okay? And keep in mind that not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Cancer? Oh, you have two that fell out, so... The first one. Hmm. The first one is chain. Chain of events that affect your life. So there's going to be a chain of events that are going to affect your life in the very near future. This hasn't happened yet, okay? And you're, you may say that it has, but this is to come. Okay, this is to come. Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So, something there's going to be an event, obviously, and you're going to need a deep personal strength. Okay, you're going to need it, and you're going to find it. Okay, um, and success is in the future. So, there's going to be an event that changes everything by the looks of things. So, what do we have for cancer? What do we have for Cancer Sun? Oh, we gotta take this one. Winter. Something to do with winter. Something to do with winter time. You may find the success you're looking for in the winter. Let's get one more time. I mean, one more card. One more time. So I'm not sure if something is going to be happening one more time. What do we have for cancer? Ooh. Oh my God. I got to show you what's on the bottom. What just came out. Hit and run. Hit and run. Now, hit and run doesn't have to be a car accident. Okay. Hit and run can be when, you know, you think about a hit and run. It's like, um, could be some one night stand. Okay, it could be a one night stand. Um, this could go many, many different ways, but I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Speeding causes accidents. So there's a need to slow down. Something is going on, Cancer, where maybe you need to get away from something. Maybe you need to run away from something. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you need to get away from something but you need to go slow don't rush don't hurry take your time take your time even if it means that you can't make this move until winter which i know sucks because i wouldn't want to do that but or maybe something happened last winter because i put that winter in the past position and then i got hit and run in the future which is interesting i got the winter in the past Maybe something has happened in the winter that has affected you and now that was an event. There's an event that happened in the winter time that is affecting you and changing, changing your destination. That's what I think this is. You need to find the personal strength within you to find the peace and the success that you want. It's interesting because we're kind of talking about the chariot card here. We are. We really are. Which is your card, which is traveling to a new destination. You may be wanting to move or needing to move somewhere. And you're going to need to find that deep personal strength and courage and confidence and determination and willpower to do so. So I feel like there's a change. And I feel like something has happened. And it is really affecting your life. And it's going to continue to affect your life. There's going to be one event after another until you... I feel like you need to run away from something. I do. I, I do. I think you want to. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There it is. Ooh reconciliation so I think that there's somebody that you want to reconcile with they could be at a distance because I, I want to say distance 
Someone from your past is returning to your life, Cancer. This could be a past life connection. And then we have on the bottom, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So I feel like there is someone from your past that is returning to your life. You need to let go of the control issues. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Maybe you've been, you've talked to this person over the winter or you connected with them in the winter or something like that. What do we have for cancer? What do we have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Communicate, 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 communicate. This is communication, it is fast forward movement, it's triumphant news arriving. More and more and more, an increase, an increase of communication. You should be, maybe you need to increase communication or you were communicating with somebody, that you were communicating with somebody in the winter time. There's probably a separation in your future from somebody that you're not meant to be with. You could be dealing with a Gemini uh, or a Taurus or a Libra. You could also be taking on this energy if you are a feminine. This is the birth of a new life. This is creating a new life. This is the goddess of love. This is a domestic goddess, somebody that focuses on the home, focuses on themselves. This is, this is a motherly energy, birth, a birth, a birth, a birth of a new life, tender loving care, getting some tender loving care, beauty, Separating from something that is not compatible. Know your value. Know your worth. King of Cups reversed. So that is emotionally withdrawn. Uh, not in love next to the lovers reversed. I think that you're in a situation that you're not in love with somebody. Maybe you're, you're hoping and praying from communi for communication from somebody from your past. You, you could you could have somebody we do have somebody here that is not in love okay we get the king of cups reverse next to the lovers reverse that's not in love king of wands aries leo sagittarius five of swords reverse we got a battle here pride pride is in the way there's pride in the way it's like foolish pride somebody is struggling with their pride Wanting to prove themselves. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed is total ruin, total loss, uh, losing it all, losing it all. Somebody's, there's bad business, uh, unstable business, unstable family life, emotionally withdrawn. There's somebody here that is in a commitment that isn't stable. They're only in it for the money. They're only in it for the financial stability of it. There's, there's no love here. Three of Cups, I do believe there's going to be some sort of reunion of some sort. Ten of Wands, overwhelmed, extremely, extremely overwhelmed. Um, five of Cups, reverse, and then Six of Swords, reverse on the bottom. That is struggling to move on, refusing to take a new approach. Troubled, very, very, very troubled. So we have somebody here that is extremely troubled. They're, they're having a hard time, having a hard time go, getting to a better place, but they need to master their emotions. Wanting a reunion. Somebody wants a reunion here. They do want a reunion. They want, they, and they're socializing. We have somebody here that is socializing with uh, somebody that they are very, very passionate about. There's, this is... Uh, really seeing and wanting to communicate with somebody from the past. Ten of Wands, overwhelmed, carrying a heavy burden, struggling with pride. We have a connection here that is not compatible. It's not meant to be, but pride, but pride is keeping somebody there because they're trying to prove a point. It's like they're trying to prove a point to somebody that withdrew, withdrew from them. It's like, I'm going to prove to you that I can find somebody else. That's why they got into the commitment to prove, you know, to fill a void, to prove, to prove that, you know, they didn't need them. 
Now there's extreme regrets, extreme regrets. Because I feel like, I don't know if you, because we have you here. I don't know if you are having regrets or somebody is having regrets. They're having extreme regrets. What if I, I would have done this, I would have done that. I feel like there's a loss of a partner here because of trying to prove Trying to prove something, trying to prove a point, trying to prove a point. This is pride, pride getting in the way of a love connection. Refusing to take a new approach, stuck. Somebody is stuck. They're now stuck in a commitment that they uh, need to walk away from, but the pride is still in the way. Extreme pride here. Three of Cups, socializing, getting together, dating. Somebody is dating. They're dating somebody else. And I feel like there's some sort of jealousy here. Losing it all, losing something, losing something of a huge value. There's a new prospect here. We got somebody here that regrets. They really, really, really regret um, getting into a, the partnership that they got themselves into, but they don't have the mental strength to move forward and they need to find it. I, I feel like it's you. I do. I feel like you need to be strong. You need to find your strength. You need to find your courage to go after what you want. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like th there's there's um, a separation here from a false contract. But the but there's an, but it's like, I got to prove, I got to prove, I got to prove a point. And no, you don't got to prove a point. Very troubled. Extremely troubled. You, somebody may need to move. I think moving is needed. Needs to make a move. We get the with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Swords reverse. It's like you. There's a. If you could just make a move, you, not the other person. I feel like you need to make a move, Cancer. Eight of Wands is increased communication. Communicate. Communicate. Communicate with a partner. Stop withdrawing. There's withdrawal. There's emotional withdrawal here. Losing it all. This is a complete loss. It is a total loss. You have to communicate. You have to open up. You have to have courage. You have to find your strength and your courage. There's a chance for a reconciliation here for who, with whoever this person is that you want to reconcile with. Five of Cups reversed. There's still an opportunity for love here. I feel, I, I also feel like for some of you, you may be communicating with somebody. You may receive messages from somebody that really isn't looking for a commitment. And maybe you're just trying to fill a void. Maybe you are filling a void. This is not love, okay? This is not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. This is somebody that is just looking for sex. That's what this is with this hit and run. I feel like there's a sexual encounter here there, or something like that. It doesn't lead to anything stable. You're receiving messages from somebody that, you know, is just looking to fill a void. You need to be careful. I would say that you, you know... Maybe you're trying to fill the void. Somebody is trying to fill a void, but they're not emotionally available. There's not emotional healing here. This is not a healing love. It's it's not emotional available. King of Cups reversed in the future. I mean, that's emotionally unavailable. That's sad. Sad. And I feel like you're sad. I feel like you're sad over losing a connection from the past because of some sort of miscommunication or... Wanting to win at all costs. That Five of Swords is wanting to win at all costs. We definitely have a battle here. This is this is like a serious battle. There could be a fight. You could be dealing with a, a fight this week that causes a separation from a false contract. Everything happens for a reason. You know, if you are 
meant to be with somebody else and you're in a false contract just to fill a void. The universe will cause chaos, will cause uproar, will cause fights to get you to make a move. I feel like you are in a situation that is not compatible. It's not what your heart wants, but you're in it because... You want to prove something to somebody that you, you're not alone? Or somebody is going to be communicating with you that isn't a real prospect. This person is just looking for sex. I'm just being honest with you. This is a hit and run. Maybe, maybe there's some sort of lesson that needs to be learned. Maybe it has to do with self-value and self-love. There's a lack of self-love here. There is. You need to love yourself. You need to know your value. I feel as though uh, there's a change in the living situation. You could be dealing with a family feud and a, or a family situation. Or there's a lack of money. There's a lack of funds to move. It's like... Don't let that hold you back. That's falseness. And there is falseness here. There's consequences. The lover's reverse is consequences. It's falseness. It's a false contract. I do believe we have a false contract here. Somebody is emotionally withdrawn. They're not in love with the person that they are with. And there's a need to go. There's a need to go away from it. There, there is. This, there is. There's a need to go. Stop stop staying there just because you don't want to be alone I do believe that you are going to be communicating with or your person is communicating with somebody from the past there is a reconciliation here with somebody from the past this is exciting. There could be a, a, maybe your past is is connecting with somebody. Maybe it's a soulmate. And, and it's because of a lack of communication. Communication is needed. I feel like you could lose something of big, big value with the Ten of Pentacles reversed right under the King of Cups reversed. So that's like, I'm not going to communicate. I'm going to emotionally withdraw. I'm going to hide my feelings. I'm not going to express my feelings. I'm not going to give my love. And this is like, you are, will regret it. This is regrets. Five of Cups reversed is underneath the Ten of Pentacles. Whether you, And maybe this is like, I'm going to make you regret it. Maybe that's where you're at. Somebody's like, I'm going to make you regret this. Okay, well, you're going to make me regret this. Well, you're going to lose. Whether this is you or the other person. It's like, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Oh, you're going to teach me a lesson? Oh, okay. We'll see about that. And that's what this is. That is exactly what this is. Refusing, refusing to go to a better place, refusing to budge, very, very troubled in, in staying put in a situation where there's a lot of turbulence, where there's a lot of uh, waves. It's like, why don't you just leave? Why don't you just leave the situation? I feel like you have an opportunity here for love. And reconciliation could be for, with somebody from a past life. You know, you have an opportunity here for love. But trying to prove a point by being in a false contract is going to bring you bad karma. It's not going to bring you happiness. I do see a separation. I do see walking away with the lovers reverse next to the five of wands. I mean, the five of swords reverse. That's like... I just want to be happy. I don't I don't I don't want to be in this contract anymore. So somebody's probably walking away. They probably are. Or they've connected with another person from their past. There's the past is here. Okay, the past is here. The past needs to be dealt with. You can't just ignore it. There's a lack of closure. I do believe that socializing, getting together, communication is key to success. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. If you want, and this is lack of peace, if you want peace, you have to make a move. You have to communicate. You have to open your heart. You have to express your feelings. Withdrawing and hiding and living in a false contract, pretending that you're happy, is only going to bring you more turbulence. 
I see a separation here with a lover's card and a fight. There's probably going to be a big fight. Five of Swords. This is a hostile situation. You need to take action. And I believe that, you know, somebody is going to be communicating with you. You need to open up to them. You need, or you need to, maybe you need to make the communication. Communication is the name of the game here. Increase. Increase the communication. Communicate, communicate, communicate. That's the Eight of Wands is communicate. More and more and more and more. You need to increase the communication. You need to step it up. You need to make a move. You need to make a move. I feel like we have a relationship. Somebody is in a partnership that is incompatible. There's no passion there. And they have another opportunity for something a lot more passionate where there, there's a lot of attraction and they have a strong desire to go in that direction. But... <clears throat> Choosing to stay down, choosing to stay put because they don't want to deal with the confrontation or they don't want to deal with the trouble. You know, it's too much trouble. It's too much trouble. I feel like you need to master your emotions and you need to go in that other direction. You need to run. You need to run from this false contract that you're in. I do believe that there is somebody that's also going to communicate with you that just wants to... So it's, like a, it's like a sexual thing. You could also be dealing with a partner that is having sex with somebody from their past or something like that. There's, there's a strong sexual energy here. Third party situation. Three of Cups. Regrets. Extreme regrets here. Emotions all over the place. Unstable. Tears. Tears. Regrets. Extreme regrets. Somebody is very much regretting doing what they did. And they're overwhelmed and they're carrying this as a burden. They are held down. They are weighed down by some sort of burden. They hurt you or, they, or you hurt them. I mean, this can go either way. There's extreme regrets here and there is a need to take action. May even have to do an apology. Somebody may need an apology. If somebody, we got we got a very sexual energy here as well. It's like having sex with just for sex, you know, no love, sex without love. Knight of Cups, follow your heart, follow your intuition. Queen of Cups, both upright. Ooh, and the Tower. Massive change, massive, massive disruption, false sense of security, false foundation, falseness. Somebody is in a false sense of security. They're pretending that everything is stable and solid and secure when it's not. It's all false. It's all a lie. And their heart wants a reconciliation with somebody from their past. There's a need to follow your heart, open your heart, and express your feelings to whoever this person is. There is a soulmate connection here with somebody from your past. There's also another lover, because lovers always signifies too, for this person from your past. And you could lose it all if you don't take action right now. And that is my message. Good luck.